The Anita Express is an awesome resource here at UCI because it provides transportation for those living in the ACC housing to get to and from campus. It's completely free and you don't have to show your student ID. Now usually on the weekends, they provide routes that go to places like Irvine Spectrum or the district. However, due to a lot of changes happening with the school, they're limiting only to on-campus routes. That means if you want to go exploring Irvine, you can either take the city bus for a small fee, fly on Uber or Lyft, or you can use the car rental service, Zipcar, uh, but you have to have a license. Either way, Air Express is there for you to use, and it's completely free. There's this really cool app called Translock Rider, also known as Rider, which actually tracks the UCI Anteater Express shuttle buses. Uh, it's really cool because you can like pick and choose which routes you want to track, say if you didn't want to pay attention to all of them and just the ones that matter to you where you would stop by. It also shows you when the next few shuttles plan to come to that stop, which is pretty awesome because it lets you plan um, when you're gonna like leave your apartment or whatever to get to the bus stop. Uh, as much as that's important to make sure you actually get to the bus stop, it's also really important, and I learned this the hard way, to factor in the people. Sometimes you get to the bus stop and you actually don't even get on that bus shuttle because there's so many people in line that you have to wait for the next one. So I always tell myself it's better to get where you're headed 10 minutes early rather than 20 minutes late. Um, and I just have to factor in making sure not only that I get to the bus stop on time, but that I'm like, okay, yeah, this isn't a busy time for classes. Don't think there will be a lot of people at the bus stop. <laughs> wondering how does parking work at UCI? Well first you got to get a parking permit. How parking permits work is you have to choose a specific zone that you'd like your permit to be valid for. There are two different types of parking permits that you could purchase. The first one is just a regular permit which allows you to park in any of those unmarked stalls within your zone. The second type of permit is a AR permit I think the real perk with these AR permits is that they might be a little bit easier to get a spot um, because these AR stalls are less impacted, especially during peak hours. However, I do recommend that anyone who is coming to campus, who is parking on campus, please get there early to find a space because it's never guaranteed that whatever permit you have, whether regular or AR, that you're going to get a spot if you don't get there early enough. Spaces get filled quickly and especially around noon, it can quickly become a nightmare.